A young couple are on their way to Vegas to get married. Before getting there, the girl says to the guy that she has a confession to make. The reason that they have not been too intimate is because she's very flat-chested. If he wishes to cancel the wedding, it's okay with her. The guy thinks about it for a while and says he does not mind. That she's flat and is not the most important thing in a marriage. Several miles down the road, the guy turns to the girl and says that he also wants to make a confession. He says that below his waist, he's just like a baby. If the girl wants to cancel the marriage, it's okay with him. The girl thinks about it for a while and says that she does not mind, and that she also believes there are other things far more important than in a marriage. They are happy that they are honest with each other, and go on to Vegas and get married. On their wedding night, the girl takes off her clothes. She is as flat as a washboard. Finally, the guy takes off his clothes. One glance at the guy's naked body and the girl faints and falls to the floor. After she regains consciousness, the guy says, I told you before we get married. Why did you still faint? The girl says, you told me it was just like a baby. The guy replies, yes, 8 pounds and 21 inches. <laughs> Sadie's husband, Jake, has been slipping in and out of coma for several months. Yet his faithful wife stays by his bedside day and night. One night, Jake comes to and motions for her wife to come closer. He says, my Sadie, you have been with me through all the bad times. When I got fired, you were there to support me. When my business failed, you were there. When I got shot, you were by my side. When we lost the house, you gave me support. When my health started failing, you were still by my side. You know what, Sadie? What, dear? She asked gently. I think you're the bad luck. <laughs> there was a married couple who were in a terrible accident. The woman's face was burned severely. The doctor told the husband they couldn't graft any skin from her body because she was so skinny. The husband then donated some of his skin. However, the only place suitable to the doctor was from his buttocks. The husband requested that no one be told of this, because after all, this was a very delicate matter. After the surgery was completed, everyone was astonished at the women's new beauty. She looked more beautiful than she ever did before. All her friends and relatives just raved about her youthful beauty. She was alone with her husband one day and she wanted to thank him for what he had done. Dear, I just want to thank you for everything you did for me. There is no way I could ever repay you. He replied, oh, don't worry, honey. I get plenty of thanks every time your mother comes over and kisses you on your cheeks. <laughs> Three guys were on a trip to Saudi Arabia. One day they stumble into a harem tent filled with over 100 beautiful women. They started getting friendly with the women when suddenly the sheikh comes in. I am the master of all these women. No one else can touch them except me. You three must pay for what you have done today. You will be punished in a way corresponding to your profession. The sheikh turns to the first man and asks him what he does for a living. I'm a cop, says the first man. Then we will shoot your pe off, said the sheikh. He then turned to the second man and asked him what he did for a living. I'm a fireman, said the second man. Then we will burn your pe off, said the sheikh. Finally, he asked the last man, and you, what do you do for a living? And the third man answered with a sly grin, I'm a lollipop salesman. <laughs> Roger is a hard worker, and he spends most of his nights bowling or playing volleyball. One weekend, his wife decides that he needs to relax a little and take a break from sports. So she takes him to a club. The doorman at the club spots them and says, Hey Roger, how are you tonight? His wife, surprised, asks her husband if he has been here before. 
No, no, he's just one of the guys I bowl with. They are seated and the waitress approaches, sees Roger and says, Nice to see you, Roger. A gin and tonic as usual? His wife's eyes widen. You must come here a lot. No, no, says Roger. I just know her from volleyball. Then a stripper walks up to the table. She throws her arms around Roger and says, Roger, a table dance as usual. His wife, fuming, collects her things and storms out of the bar. Roger follows her and spots her getting into a cab. So he jumps into the passenger seat. His wife looks at him, seething with fury, and lets Roger have it. At this, the cab driver leans over and says, Sure looks like you picked up a bitch tonight, Roger. <laughs> a woman has twin boys and gives them up for adoption. One goes to a family in Egypt and is named Amal. The other goes to a family in Spain and is named Juan. Years later, Juan sends a picture of himself to his birth mom. Upon receiving the picture, she tells her husband that she wishes she also had a picture of Amal. Her husband responds, but they are identical twins. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> a worried man goes to see his priest. Father, I'm worried. I think that my wife is trying to poison me. Said the priest, hold on my son. Let me talk to your wife and come back to see me tomorrow. Then I shall be able to give you some advice. The following day the man came to his priest who tells him, Well my son, I have talked to your wife for nearly two hours. My advice to you is, take the poison. <laughs> An eight-year-old girl went to her dad who was working in the yard. She asked him, Daddy, what is the father was surprised that she would ask such a question, but decides that if she is old enough to ask the question, then she's old enough to get a straight answer. He proceeded to tell her all about the birds and the bees. When he finished explaining, the little girl was looking at him with her mouth hanging open. The father asked her, why did you ask this question? The little girl replied, Mom told me to tell you that dinner would be ready in just a couple of sacks. Paul <laughs> worked in a pickle factory. He had been employed there for a number of years when he came home one day to confess to his wife that he had a tremendous urge to stick his penis into the pickle slicer. His wife suggested that he should see therapist to talk about it. But Bill indicated that he'd be too embarrassed. He vowed to overcome the compulsion on his own. One day, a few weeks later, Bill came home absolutely ashen. His wife could see that at once, that something was seriously wrong. What's wrong, Bill? She asked. Um, do you remember that I told you how I had this tremendous urge to put my nuts into the pickle slicer? Oh, Bill, you did it! Yes, I did. My God, Bill, what happened? I got fired. No, Bill, I mean, what happened with the pickle slicer? Oh, she got fired too, the man says. <laughs> man was wandering around a carnival, and he happened to see a fortune teller's tent. Thinking it would be good for a laugh, he went inside and sat down. Ah, said the woman as she gazed into her crystal ball. I see you are the father of two children. That's what you think? Said the man scornfully. I'm the father of three children. The woman grinded and said, that's what you think. <laughs> there was a guy who was struggling to decide what to wear to go to a costume party. Then he had a bright idea. When the host answered the door, he found the guy standing there wearing only underwear. What the hell are you supposed to be? Asked the host. A premature jack said the man. I just came in my underpants. 